This is the Civilization 4 NLL. Hello, welcome to the Noble Leaders League. I am Shotlike. This game is the game between Hatshepsut and Bodhika in the second division. These two ladies are hopeful for at least a playoff spot come the end of the season. Currently they are both mid-table hardships at number 10 with 6 points, Budika number 9 also on 6 points, and both of them are in the same form, 2 wins and 3 defeats in the last 5 games. However, Hatshepsut did win her last game in round 6, while Bodhika now has suffered back-to-back -back defeats in her last two games. An important game to get back into the winning ways, in other words. The map looks like this, let's get the resource bubbles on for a moment. Hatshepsut's starting position next to the river, there are jungle tiles here, ivory, cows, there is rice, horses, some fish, uh, more rice and spices and clams and stuff. She starts in the middle continent, it's a relatively small continent, but they do have access through coastline to this west southwestern continent, this south north uh, to the northwestern continent, and also this mini continent in the middle here. So they have a lot of land to settle before they need astronomy. Bodhika starting on the southern coast with three stones. There is iron, there are whales out there, some fish, some cows, and even some oil for later in the game. Let's see how this turns out. It's time to get the game kicked off. And here we are. Hatshepsut versus Budika in the seventh round in the second division. One city each, different religions, Budika in Buddhism, Hatshepsut in Hinduism, 50 turns, two cities each. Let's see how they do. Three cities Hatshepsut now. Hatshepsut is a little bit weaker than Budika. Maybe Budika is building a few units. Budika was first to four cities, but Hatshepsut is first to five. 5 to 4 in the city count for Hatshepsut. We are closing in on the 1 AD date as well. 5-5 five, five in cities at the moment. Uh, we have the war. We have the war that must have been approximately at 1 AD. I think it was 5 cities each at that time as well. And Bodhika with 5 cities, Hatshepsut on 5. And Hatshepsut is 0.7 times the strength of Bodhika, which means that Bodhika is the strongest one. Hatshepsut has built another city out on that continent up in the north. West for six cities versus Bodhika's five. Bodhika is just now getting her catapults though. And Bodhika now on uh, horseback riding, the same as Hatshepsut. Six cities each, which means Bodhika has settled another one. The war is going on. I don't think they have captured any cities yet. I see six six in city count. Turn 171 is here. Hatshepsut is still weaker than Bodhika, approximately the same as a long time ago. Seven cities Bodhika now has settled another one on the continent southwest. And we see Hatshepsut is still struggling in the war. Bodhika is getting feudalism in five. Drama is what Hatshepsut is researching. Seven cities to six still. We are at turn 194. And it doesn't seem like peace is an option here. Bodhika still stronger than Hatshepsut, but the, they haven't changed strength. They, it has one, Hatshepsut is 1.6, 1.7 times the strength of Bodhika. Now there is a peace treaty in effect here. Eight cities for Bodhika, seven for Hatshepsut. And now Hatshepsut is down to 0.5 the strength. Bodhika is going for machinery while Hatshepsut is on civil service. The war is on again. Bodhika 8 cities, Hatshepsut 7. I don't know what happened with that peace treaty, but okay, here we are. And now Bodhika up to 10 cities, Hatshepsut on 7. They are at war, but they are still expanding. And they can. Bodhika in the south, Hatshepsut in the north on those continents to the west of the starting continent. 11 cities Bodhika now, 7 to Hatshepsut, and Hatshepsut is still dropping in power down to 0 0.5, 0 0.4 now Hatshepsut. For a moment there, Bodhika 12 cities, Hatshepsut now 6. Hatshepsut now 5 cities, oh back up to 6 again. 
but we have a 13 hot shot suit, 6 cities, but she is losing those and she is down to 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, the strength of Budika. Budika is twice as strong as hot shot suit, in other words. And with twice the number of cities, this should be a Budika game. 13 cities to 6, we are at turn 265. Budika going optics. And then Alphabet, Hatshepsut is on paper, 14 cities for Budika, 6, 7 cities for Hatshepsut. She founded another one up north there, but she is immediately down to 6 cities again. Back up to 7, Budika 14, Hatshepsut 7, and Hatshepsut 0.5 the strength of Budika, Budika. She is one of the leaders that have spent the most time in war, and this game is no exception. 15 city, uh, Budika down to 14 again, he, she lost the city again, 14 to 7, but she has twice the number of cities. She is double the strength of Hatshepsut. She is getting astronomy right now, she is ready for expansion into the new world in the east. And, but there is, uh, are still some places to settle in the west. 14 cities to 8, Hatshep is up to 8 cities now. Still 0.5 the strength of Bodhika. Bodhika doesn't seem to want to sign any peace. Uh, she did it once, but now I think she should just continue the war because she is stronger. She has more cities. Now up to 15. Hatshep down to 7. And uh, Bodhika. And Hatshep is going for machinery. Bodhika is going for the guilds. 15 cities to 7, turn 3, 16. Hatshepsut, she has been defending, though she has only half the strength of Budika, she has been defending her core cities, it seems. Well, she has lo been losing her core cities, um, is perhaps the more correct way to put it, and she has been building new cities up in the north. West, but uh, she still has a city there um, in the main, in the starting continent. Although Budika now up to 16 and Hardship Suit on 7. City Council Hardship Suit has now turned from Hinduism to Christianish, uh, Christianity as well. 15 to 8. And we have another war, of course. We have another war declaration. Hardship Suit immediately down to 7 cities here. And Bodhika 16 cities to 7, she is stronger. Hatshepsut is only 0.4 the strength of Bodhika now. And Bodhika getting chemistry, going on to military tradition, uh, military science next. Hatshepsut getting guilds, uh, 60 cities to 7, turn 350, 351 is here. Budika hasn't been able to break Hatshep Suit yet, but uh, it is only a matter of time, is it not? Unless Hatshep Suit suddenly does something here. She is going for banking now. Budika going education. 17 cities to 7, and we see Budika has settled a city in the east. Which means that she is only going to grow bigger and stronger. And even though there is a peace treaty here, I doubt that that, I doubt that, that peace treaty will last for long. 18 cities, Bodhika, 6 cities, Hatshep Suit. Which means that she has 3 times the number of cities. Bodhika is also 3 times as strong as Hatshep Suit. Hatshep Suit going for compass now, while Bodhika is getting the education. 19 cities, Bodhika is expanding by settlers now, 19 to 6. Does she have enough land to win domination if she settles all of the new world? That is also a question, um, but uh, we are back at war, of course. Hatshepsut with her six cities. Hatshepsut now with seven because of that settle of Asiut, as we see in the middle of the screen. 19 cities Bodhika, she is attacking, going for the economics and corporation. Hatshepsut is going optics at the moment. 19 cities to 7 Budika in the war. It is never a dull moment when we have Budika in war. She, <laughs> in a game I'd say, because she is so often in war now. She is 5 times as strong as Hatshepsut. Hatshepsut is down to 6 cities and Budika is getting steel. We are at turn 389. 21 cities Budika, 6 cities Hatshepsut, and Budika, what are you doing? Upgrading units most probably, she's getting steel the next turn now, 5 cities left for Hatshepsut, now Hatshepsut is falling apart, down to 5 cities. This is the final stretch 
for the Egyptian Empress. She is trying to go engineering and she is getting that body guys on the printing press. 23 cities to 5. Turn 400 is here. We are in the last 100 turns. Hatshepsut has at least been able to prolong the game into the 400 something turns. But uh, now she's up to 6 cities again. 6 cities versus Bodhikas 23 though. Turn 407. 23 cities to 6 and Bodhika is now approximately 10 times as strong as Hatshepsut. Between 5 and 10 times. We see it there going for physics. Hatshepsut is on education. 6 cities left for Hatshepsut. 23 for Bodhika for turn 413. And Bodhika, she is slowly expanding into the new world as well, and I kind of expect her to do that a little bit faster, because she would need a lot more settlers out if she wants to win domination. There is a lot of land in the new world that has not yet been settled. Hatshepsut is down to 5 cities by the way, Bodhika 24 to 5, and Bodhika is 10 times as strong as Hatshepsut, so this could easily now go just into Conquest. 5 cities Hatshepsut, turn 425, 426, 4 cities left for Hatshepsut, Bodhika is doing it 25 to 4 in the city counts. 4 cities left for Hatshepsut, how long can Hatshepsut hold on? Four cities left now. There is not much hope for anything else. Bodhika is getting liberalism. Hatshepsut is just getting education. 25 cities to four. And Bodhika, there it is. The liber... Uh, <laughs> liber... <laughs> the lib. 27 to 3. Hatshepsut is down to 3 cities. Hatshepsut is down to 3 cities. We are at 4.30. Turn 4.37. 4.38. Unfortunately for Hatshepsut, I think 60 turns is too many. She can't hold on that long, I believe. Especially against the Bodhika that is aggressive like this. 28 cities to 3. Hatshepsut still on her 3 cities, but Hatshepsut does have a city down uh, in the middle of the map and then 2 up north, I believe. 29 to 3. Bodhika is expanding into the new world by settling another one. Uh, this could actually still be domination, but uh, we have now almost only 50 turns left. Bodhika, 29 cities to 3. Hatshepsut gets education while Bodhika is trying to go for railroads. And 29 cities for Bodhika, 3 for Hatshepsut, turn 4, 51. And Hatshepsut still has those 3 cities. But Bodhika, are you not going to take those 3 cities? I mean, you should be able to. You are 10 times as strong as Hatshepsut. It should, would be only a matter of time, I think. There is, uh, There are some units on the map, if you look at the, the, the big map. Uh, just two turns, uh, two tiles away from the city that is shown. It doesn't look like Hatshepsut is using the... Oh, there she moved close to the city. Now it is about to fall, isn't it? Maybe? No? Three cities still for Hatshepsut and now we have only 36 turns left of the game, Bodhika. She is expanding into the new world, building cities, but she doesn't have enough land tiles to win domination with 33 turns left, Bodhika. You need to take out another Hatshepsut city now, you need to do it sooner rather than later instead of just standing around and waiting. I don't think that this is good for you, Bodhika. Three Egyptian cities left and Hatshepsut. Are you going to survive all the way to time? It is 28 turns left. Bodhika still not over the domination threshold when it comes to land tiles. This could be a surprise a draw for Hatshepsut at a point that she could not have expected. 25 turns left. We are actually in danger of Bodhika not winning this game now. She, she should have been able to win Conquest a long time ago, but she is leaving Hatshepsut with three cities. And I say Bodhika is leaving Hatshepsut with three cities. There is no way that Hatshepsut would have been able to defend if Bodhika had found it in her heart to take those three cities. I'm sure she could have done it a long time ago, but now with 19 turns left of the game, 
Hatshepsut with three cities. Hatshepsut still holding on hope for a point. But it depends how far away from domination in the terms of how much land Boudicca has. Boudicca has not settled too aggressively. 16 turns left. Boudicca could have needed a few more settlers out actually. She hasn't been able to do that or she hasn't been willing to. And now with 12 turns left. Will Boudicca make it a domination win? Will Boudicca make it a domination win? Or will she fail? With 11 turns to go and 3 Hatshepsut cities left on the map and Boudicca... She could have won this game a long time ago. She is leaving it late. Too late perhaps? Too late perhaps? 8, 7 turns left. Boudicca with 31 cities. Boudicca has settled another one. Is that enough to take her over the domination threshold with five turns to go? It doesn't seem like that to me. She would need to capture at least one of the cities. And there it is, Boudicca. It was enough. It was enough. There must have been uh, some city that expanded the borders. Budica did win the domination 2078 AD. Turn 498. Just two turns away from a draw. And Budica did it. Oh, this was exciting. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't believe how exciting this is, but this was really exciting. Oh my goodness. Bodica won domination just two turns before she would have to settle for a draw. So congratulations with that, but you left it very late, Bodica. 
Bodycast started all four uh, wars of the game. She was winning three of them, but one ended in a standoff. And the standoff was the first war that she declared in 50 BC on turn 113. The last a war ended with a domination win 2078 and turn 498 after 124 years and turns in war. One other thing to note, Boudicca did get liberalism. That is the latest ever liberalism in any game this season in 2011, turn 431. Among the other games, the latest record used to be in 1987, turn 407, among those games that got liberalism at all. There have been games where liberalism has not been reached, but once we have a a group of games where liberalism has been researched, this was the latest there was. A new late record for Boudicca there. In other words, let's go to the statistics. Here we are at the graphs and we see Boudicca in score is number one. GNP Boudicca, manufacturing Boudicca, food Boudicca, power Boudicca, culture Boudicca and espionage Boudicca. That's a quick one. She was best in everything. Demographics then. Hatshepsut's numbers. Bodhika's numbers. She had actually pretty good numbers here. Not superb, but really decent-ish good anyway. 35 million in population approximately. Top 6 cities and Wonderstand. The Wonders list is only one page. We see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Wonders in the BC era. And we see from the cities that Boudicca does have all of the top six cities. Yes, I just looked through to confirm. She does. Statistics then. Hatshepsut, 12 cities built, 3 religions founded, currently on 4 farms and towns and 2 workshops and hamlets. She built in her cities 11 granaries and barracks and 7 lighthouses. And we see here also in page 1 the Apostolic Palace, page down and that was the last one let's go line up to confirm apostolic palace is the last one current units for Hatshepsut 21 longbowmen 4 catapults and 3 archers at the bottom here trained a total of 66 war chariots 44 longbowmen 43 archers 1 warrior let's go page down and see that the great engineer is the last on the list the kills 26 Gallic Warriors, 18 Spearmen, 16 Trebuchets, down to 1 Trireme, and the losses were 53 War Chariots, 47 Longbowmen, 38 Macemen, all the way down to 1 Great General. Boudicca's numbers, 23 cities built, 1 city raised, 4 religions, 2 Golden Ages, currently on 61 towns, 48 Windmills, 37 Workshops, uh, buildings, 29 barracks is built, 26 granaries, 25 harbors, and we see the list down to the six castles. Page 2, here we start to see the wonders and the public transportation. Page down again to see the list complete with the hanging gardens. There is also the Sistine Chapel, by the way. Current unit stand for Bodica, 106 grenadiers, 69 longbowmen, 58 musketmen, down to one trebuchet, and you trained in your city's 126 work boats. Yeah, you surely need 126 work boats, Bodica. Congratulations with that. 72 longbowmen, 62 musketmen, 57 grenadiers, 13 transports, page down. And a great engineer is the bottom of the list. Let's confirm the kills then. 53 war chariots, 47 longbowmen, 38 macemen, down to a great general. And the losses, 26 Gallic warriors, 18 spearmen, 16 trebuchets, and down to one trireme. Let's go take a look at the victory conditions screen. As we can see... Boudicca just reached 74% exactly of the land area, which was enough to get her over the domination limit. 
She would never have won culture here, and neither would Hatshepsut, by the way. And she could have eliminated uh, her opponent. She chose not to Bodhika built the Apostolic Palace as well. Let's go take a look at the cities. Hatshepsut has three of them. Here they are. Here on Hierakonpolis, Abydos, and Asiut. And you see the number. She is building longbows in two of them and a lighthouse in the third. Nothing more to say about that. Boudicca's cities then. Let's switch over to Boudicca. Okay, 31 cities. Let's go and sort by population. And let's go to the top. And here you see Verlamion 19, Bibrachte du Novaria 17. And you see the list. They are... It's a big difference in happiness in between the cities and also a little bit a few cities with health problems, but usually they are good. Base food, high 30s and then uh, low 30s and high 20s, really decentish, but nothing spectacular. The base commerce, well, we have 71, we have 64, 64. None of them are close to breaking the triple digit mark. And when it comes to production, there is 156 production in Bibrachte, which is good towards the destroyer. 51 for the Statue of Liberty, 42 for Broadway, 73 for the Taj Mahal. Yeah, decentish. 84 for a night in uh, Burdigala. Biblos uh, 7 pops is the last one on page 1. Let's go to the bottom. Biblos 7, so Samaru Br Samarubriva is the first on page 2 and you see the numbers for those cities down there here. Spoiler alert! Results and updated league tables follows after this screen. Updating to league tables we see that Hatshepsut now is number 11 with 6 points and a negative 19 score turn difference. Bodhika is number 7, 8 points and a positive 15 which means she is in the running for at least a playoff spot. Well Hatshepsut has some points to make up before she can challenge for that again. Later today we have the second game between Washington and Louis the Fourth. I hope to see you back then. I am Shotlike. This has been the Noble Leaders League. Goodbye for now.